first of all radha was not married to krishna she was married to ayan she was not krishna's wife so there were two groups of followers parkiya means someone else wife twakiya means one's own wife and there had always been a tussle between parkiya and a sokna there was a court case at the end of 18th century or the beginning of 19th century and this the followers parkiya someone else wife they won the court case chaitanya chaitanya was a vaishnav devotee who popularized vaishnavism and radhaism in eastern india chaitanya comes to vrindavan and he just he revives the lost glory of vrindavan from bengal he comes to vrindavan vrindavan <coughs> is in western up a small place near mathura and chaitanya also accepts the parkiya someone else wife so was radha in popular theme really wife of someone else the brahma vaivart puran which describes the saga of radha it is said that in the brahma vaivart puran we find the influence of geeta govinda brahma vaivart puran describes the marriage of radha and krishna and it says that it was in fact radha's shadow who was married to krishna uh, sorry to ayan it was not radha real radha was married to krishna it was in the brahma vaivart puran and why there, there was an it, it's a, something else to discuss we don't have time why was there need that brahma vaivart puran describe the marriage between krishna and radha in vrindavan now this elevation of radha as a goddess a lot of aesthetics they didn't like elevation of radha they said that when radha was elevated as a goddess she lost her innocence we don't find an innocent heroine anymore who never cared for society who never cared cared for social norms where is that heroine but radha's elevation as goddess has given to softness to bengal vaishnavism <clears throat> now there there was a psychological aspect also of this radhaism radha and krishna saga radha becomes a philosophy she becomes a symbol and as i have said earlier when there was a technical snag i don't know whether i was audible or not that she it was superior to lakshmi and durga as they were in narad purana they were born from her such a strong concept of a feminine power raises several question at one side she defies all social norms at one side she becomes such a big goddess such a great goddess mother of the universe even she is higher than krishna that whether it was a psych, it was an attempt uh, of that female ego that women wanted to liberate from male ego that's why was it shown like this remember radha was not a beauty krishna was a beauty the dark god was a beauty radha was grace radha was knowledge but such questions whether there is a it's a female ego and all it all spoils the beauty it uh, it was a love where secrecy was maintained and when we start talking about all these things it just spoils all the beauty of radha saga again is like lakshmi parvati sita was radha considered to be a model for indian women so an anthropologist diane wolf she did a survey in vrindavan and she asked the widows of bengal whether they would like to be they wanted to be like radha they said no but no was not no what i think you people are taking they said that first of all we are women secondly we are widows we are even on oh, oh, lower pedestal how can we be like radha she is a goddess we can only chant jai shri radhe we cannot like be her because she is a goddess and we are widows a uh, two thing two verses i would like to say just to show how radha was taken in literature how uh, in sanskrit literature contemporary literature and how radha was taken in the puranas how there was a balance between eroticism and religiosity <clears throat> this one is from uh geet govinda and it describes the dance of krishna with her other gopis not with radha it says lalita lavanga lata parishilana komal malaya samire madhukar nirnikar karambit kokil pujit punj kutire vihrati hariri sa 
सरस वसंते नृत्य के युवती जन सनम सखी विरह जनस दुरद्दो राधा's friends tells राधा Seema please pay attention this relationship between the two radha's friend tells radha that in the garden full of beautiful flowers humming of the bees sweet melody of the cuckoo and in this romantic spring season your lover krishna is roaming with other women this is how it is said in the geet govind and in the narad puran it says after meditating upon the lord who stands accompanied by radha the storing by tamal tree by yamuna in the forest of vrinda one said one should recite thousand names of the yugas both of lord krishna and radha radhe radhe jai shri radhe thank you so much uh, anamika for this beautiful uh, talk that we gave regarding radha and actually i i was not very clear about so many things which i've heard now about radha uh, there is one question which i think uh, i would just like to ask you uh, there is a question what, what do you mean by sacred feminine uh, did you mention somewhere about the sacred feminine i am not uh, no, feminine no, sacred, no 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 it was me in the introduction of uh, sima of yourself Oh, okay. So that I think we will take it up in my session uh, yeah. uh, tomorrow. So I would I would like to explain that. That's not a problem at all. But I'd like to give the any other questions because. Um, Sastish Chandra Rai has. I think I've taken more time than I was allotted. Sorry for that. <laughs> but I was oh, just. Oh, I, so we can unmute. Shall Sastish Chandra Rai has the hand up. Maybe you can put uh, very good information about Radha and nice presentation about Radha. Uh, this is by Satish Chandra. He has written for you. Uh, there is Vivek Shukla who has mentioned that it is a wonderful lecture. Um, then there is. They can also maybe. Vasham uh, Tripathi. Uh, concept of Radha who reside with Krishna in Gola, Golo. Golo. Uh, but i don't know what the question is so question, really yeah. it is not a question actually uh, the thing is that this concept uh, that it is said that how radha came to golok it was because of sudama's curse radha insulted sudama it, it, it is in the brahma vaivarta purana radha insulted sudama and sudama curse go you will go to golok radha said i will not go without a krishna so what happened that it is that Uh, in fact it is shiv who took birth in the form of radha and it was parvati who took birth in the form of radha that is how krishna and radha started residing in golok because of the curse of sudama so beautiful i had i had no knowledge about this thank you so much that it was shiva who took the birth as radha i had heard that he used to uh, uh, gopeshwar i uh, yeah. want gopeshwar nag in uh, mathura Uh, no brindavan yeah, yeah. brindavan <laughs> she uh, worship gopeshwarya yeah he is dressed like a gopi there that yeah. he used to watch krishna doing the the ras but i had no idea about this that he was radha uh, this is dekhi thi tum humko ye tum baat bole aise bol raha hai aise tum kya baat bol rahe ho jao jao se gun puro kya hai can you hear um, no um Seema, if you scroll down, there's another question. How can we relate this session to art? Uh, that is a question that has been asked by Priyanka. Uh, Anamika, how can we relate this session to art? Art in this sense, art. Art. Uh, uh, that's why we'll have to then give her the mic. I mean, we'll have to let her speak then. With art from art, you mean painting? The thing is that we don't find many sculptures, independent sculptures. Uh -huh. and uh, if you mean these are uh, the paintings were i was just showing uh, it was kangra and pahari paintings where they are depicted they most of them are from uh, uh, 18th to 19th centuries they are quite late in kangra painting it is said that we find the full influence of geet govind you will see uh, can you see me mm -hmm. even the trees and all at that time i couldn't emphasize because there was shortage of time everybody stands like this see my <laughs> you are an artist which you will know in this posture even sometimes trees are shown in a dancing posture so uh, 
this uh, not in the puranas but whatever is described in the geet govind it is there in the kangra painting kangra painting is of himachal pradesh kangra and pahari both they are from so there's one more someone is asking uh, there is a akanksha uh, yeah. which one is correct radha turn human into goddess or goddess into human it, it depends upon you how you see like that those um, the videos of vrindavan they said oh she is goddess so it depends how you see radha if if you go to vrindavan to you go to rasamandali all of all are dancing they all are radha every in vrindavan everybody is radha jai shri radhe 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 and if you you are seeing her as a goddess they so in actually in hinduism there is an attempt to bring the gods to the level of this entire episode of uh, ram and sita everything it is an attempt like krishna krishna was such a great thinker he is a philosopher and same krishna is dancing with the gopis and radha like an ordinary human being so oh, is, yeah. you want to see krishna as a philosopher you see krishna who has given such a great philosophy of bhagavad gita and if you want to see krishna as a dancer as a rasik so this is the same way with radha you want to see radha as a human being so just like us who has all the emotion and feelings of an ordinary human being so one can see radha like that and if you want to see radha as a goddess who at some time she even uh, superior to krishna and also she is like that there is another question by anuja patwardhan how radha was introduced into tantric practices and later the cult of radha emerged this is i uh, think yeah, yeah actually uh, the, <clears throat> when there was an influence of this cult of radha when it was elevated radha became a cult it was because of the pressure of tantricism you go through narad puran it was full of tantric rituals and tantricism and in the narad puran we find because narad tantricism is what it it is it has elevated shakti shaktism so in the narad puran we see the elevation of radha or the depiction of radha as a tantric shakti tantricism is there when tantricism filtered into the puranas all these female deities they were elevated okay so another uh -huh. question by bhumika is that ras and gujarati garba similar i had seen that garba performed like ras so how it is similar and different to each other uh, actually how the ras was performed in do, at that time we don't know in krishna only thing we know that in uh, it was uh, um, uh, the ras dance was known as hallik hallik natya in sanskrit text hallik natya the dance of joy so they dance in a circle but in the karpur manjari karpur manjari is a text of uh, i think when the rajshekar wrote um, in kalchuri period there is a reference that the women of uh, king uh, uh, of a king's palace or oh, sorry queen's palace they are doing danda raso so ras is there your danda dandiya is there both are there in the karpur manjari and uh, it it seems that even dandiya as well as garba when you dance in circle it has its origin in the ras but it could be different because uh, and at one at one time gujarat was a very strong hold of fashionism so uh, it may have its influence but you cannot say how krishna danced every, each and every poet has described in his own way how krishna danced ras and i am going to be talking about hariti uh, she is also a mother goddess uh, very, very indic but uh, not much is known about her in it will be wonderful otherwise we learn from you thank you so yeah. much thank you bye 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 bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.